Hi, Black Cat Demon here, and I got a question to ask you guys. Have you guys ever heard of a artist sending cease and desist letters out to their fan groups and their fan pages on Facebook? Neither have I. Well, back in uh, December 2019, an artist started doing that to their fan groups and their fan pages, and the reason why they were doing it was because they were saying that they own the copyrights to their name, they t are taking back their permissions from uh, photos so that way no one can share their photos, and they are not allowing people to share their music. Now, I was made aware of this because I actually own a group on Facebook. You know, they they were telling me about, hey, you know, this is going on, you know, remove his name and everything else. And I thought, well, you know, I, I wrote them, I said, you, are you certain it's not a crazed fan? And they said, no, it's legit, it's actually from a, a real lawyer and everything else. Now, that was one person. Then I started hearing from the ripple effect. I started hearing, hey, there's more pages, more groups going to target it. So I did that. I, I removed the, the man's name out of my, my group name and removed the tags. And this guy started doing all this crap. And I thought, well, you know, maybe maybe some of the groups, maybe they were selling bootleg, you know, boot, bootleg stuff. And then one of the, the ones that got targeted was club had over 14,000 members and they had to be deleted and um, you know so everyone all these groups started getting deleted and everything and I wanted to know what's going to happen because I didn't know if I was going to get targeted in December so I get targeted I got shut down because you know like I said I got the letter so I am like every other uh, fan out there that got swift kick in the ass we're trying to figure out why um, we're trying to figure out why this guy never posted like an official statement on his website or his Facebook or whatever, telling the fans, hey, you guys got 30 days to delete your groups and everything, and then I'll start sending the letters. There was nothing like this. This guy just out of the blue just started letters and everything saying, pretty much screwed you all these years that you guys had, you know, wasted, you know, running these pages, you know, whether it be there's 10 years, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'm going after you guys. And it's, it's sad because this just happened. Um, the music that everyone was sharing on Facebook was a majority of it was YouTube. We were sharing YouTube videos, whether it be off his site or, you know, some other page or whatever. Everyone was sharing different deals. Everyone was sharing concert clips and stuff like that. So again, everyone was sharing all this stuff, like we've always done. But the fan pages and the fan groups are the ones getting targeted on the music, but not those YouTube channels. Uh, if you're wondering who I'm talking about, just Google Dirt Sandwich, Sharon Stone, you you understand. Uh, pretty much, like I said, he's claiming that he owns the copyrights and trademark to his name. Uh, you can't share his music because that's under copyrighted works. Uh, he's also afraid, too, uh, consumers mistakenly will believe that Facebook sites are associated with him or endorsed by him. Again, if we were anywhere endorsed or anything like that, we would have a blue check by our name. None of us do. But again, we were never, you know, linked to him in the first place. All we did was we shared his contest, we shared his posts, we shared some of his videos off of Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that. So in one sense, we were kind of helping get more word out about some of his stuff. But now he's shutting all of us down. And as he's probably thinking in his weird mind that maybe he's getting rid of the competition. And telling everyone, hey, come back to my lovely, boring Facebook site and my, my Facebook page and look at all my serious radio clips. Yeah. Boring. We don't have an official post. We are not, to some degree, being told what's safe and what's not. You know. Um, if you ask on any of his pages, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, you ask, it gets removed, it gets deleted. Apparently, this guy does not want people being all negative. Seeing him, they, pretty much he wants everyone to see that he's a good old boy and everything else. And that's how a lot of the fans are going, well, it's not him, it's his lawyer. Well, he had to pay the lawyer, didn't he? So he has to tell the lawyer what he wants done. So, I'm sorry, but he's kind of, you know, in the background telling this person, you know, this is what I want done. So he's kind of sicking the dogs on all the fans right now. And he's still trying to be looking all holier than thou and, you know, in this great limelight. And I'm sorry, but he's not. 
So again, I'm going to put this out there, you know, if you own a group or a page dedicated to Mr. Dirt Sandwich himself, do not put his name, his likeness, or any of his music on there because he's going to send you a letter and uh, he's going to demand that you shut down your stuff. Um, I don't know if this is going to start going through, you know, rippling through, you know, YouTube as far as if he's going to be like Prince and say, hey, this is my music, you guys cannot have this stuff uploaded. So I don't know if this is going to, like I said, start rippling through the internet. You know, Facebook is just the start, but I'm putting it out there, I'm letting you guys know that. This guy kind of went after a whole bunch of groups and pages and everything, so he pretty much targeted fans on Facebook. Oh, bye, thanks for watching, and I'm putting this out there, I'm letting you guys know, hey, this is what's going on, because I actually got served by running a Facebook in a group. Who, who does that? I mean, it wasn't like it was some dirty group, or it wasn't like I was some bad person. You know, I just was a fan running a group, and I got deleted because the artist is like, you know, don't want the support from the fans anymore. So bye, thanks for watching, and comment below what you guys think of this.